Hi, everyone. Today, I'd like to share about Elementor's new feature, link in bio. So this is a new feature, so it will have to be activated. So once you open Elementor, you would go ahead and click on settings and you would click on the far tab of features and you would scroll down and you would activate the link in bio feature. By default, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's inactive, so you will have to activate it and then you would go ahead and create a new page. You can either create a new page or a template. Um, if you would need to, or you can create a landing page, anything of that nature. So as long as you get to the Elementor uh, basically setup page. So they offer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, link in bio options. So let's just start with the basics, shall we? So the classic widget is very basic. It, it allows you to add your photo. It allows you to add, you know, a header. By default, it's set up, if I'm not mistaken, as Susan Parker. And again, it gives you, you know, default placeholders such as this tagline or this header that says Kitchen Chronicles and links and uh, icons for the social media. So basically, it's really easy to set up. You can go ahead and set up your images that you would like. You can go ahead and set up your bio that you would like, and you can also customize things such as the styling, the colors, etc. So the call to action buttons, I do not believe there is a limit, but I am not 100% sure, certain. And I know for the social icons, for this particular classic widget, you can add up to five. And they're all basically uh, pretty straightforward. If you wanna add, say your URL or anything else, you click on the icon label, and then you would go ahead and add your link. They also offer other icons you can add. If you don't wanna add, say social media, you can add a WhatsApp, any other links, telephone numbers, email addresses, and such things as a Venmo or any other um, media options that you would like. So you can also set them up to open in a new, they are set up for the URLs to open in a new window. So that saves you some time. And then once you're done, you just go ahead and save, basically just click on the label again and it shrinks back. So in terms of styling, you can, again, have a cover image. Um, you can have your bio. So if you wanna change your text color for any particular reason, you just click text color and then you can either do a global color or click on the square here and just do the color picker. Um, and far as typography goes, you can also do any just global styles that are associated with your site, or you can click through the list and let's say you want to have a rather uh, heavy or bold font, you would click that and it goes ahead and it changes it automatically. Um, as far as the buttons go, you do have... Um, options to change the typography and the colors. This one does not have like a hover color option, but maybe they'll have one later on. So basically it's pretty straightforward. And this one has the social icons at the bottom. The minimalist one is, I believe the one I'm using for Life with Pal, and it's pretty straightforward. Again, you can set up up to five icons, if I'm not mistaken, for social media. And it does let you know how many icons you can add and your call to action links. Showcase allows you to add images, so you can add an image along with whatever post or other um, link you would like to add. Uh, and the links is just straight links. You can add, um, of course, your cover image and then just provide all of your links and your social media at the bottom. This, again, also only allows you up to five social media links. Uh, hopefully they'll fix that later on, or maybe they'll provide another option with a future update. The services allows you to add, again, uh, images with your links. So this is probably well suited for someone that has a services website or offers services and they want to have a listing all in one place. Um, for the call to action buttons, it gives you, again, just the simple um, list and then you can add whichever you would like so your url and your image as well 
The portfolio option is just straight images, so this probably would work well for someone that's an artist or if you're a content creator or anything of that nature. And again, it, it originally came in a grid of four, but you can add uh, more image links. I don't know if there is a limit. Uh, we will find out if someone uses this. And then the business card is pretty straightforward. It provides you your header image. Um, you can provide all of your contact information. And this would probably be more for someone that is either looking for a job, possibly because it says download resume, but you could also do it for other options as well. Like if you have an ebook or anything like that, you can add information about yourself. Um, so this is what the base options look like. And this is with Elementor Pro. So if you would like more information about that, I've provided a link in the description below. Have a good day, everybody.